Hey folks, we're going to take a little peek at the sunspot development and then look back at the water experiments from the earthquake forecasting video, see how they may be applied more broadly. The magnetic arches connecting the new sunspots have been growing rapidly and have begun to show the first signs of destabilization. We'll be watching the area for solar flares and plasma eruptions today and tomorrow. These sunspots really did come out of nowhere, and hopefully they stop growing before something big happens. Just about an hour ago, there was an intra-active area plasma surge between the new spots and the established ones out ahead of them. It's a first sign of potential eruptions. We are also awaiting the faster solar wind from this coronal hole stream to impact tonight. Remember, geomagnetic storms are expected. High latitude aurora watchers got a good chance. Now let's go back to those water experiments we showed two nights ago. Please recall that these are not sound vibrations. This is electric current put into the water. And look how it moves. You can also try this yourself at home with just static electricity. If you turn the faucet on a slow release and then use a balloon or even a plastic spoon to build up static, you will move the water. Now, this is the reason why we can use coronal holes as earthquake forecasting signals. Long before the solar wind arrives, the magnetic fields connect to Earth's, changing the electrodynamic and magnetic environment throughout the atmosphere and the crust. This would impact the water, the crystals, the iron in the ground, and much more. It's a recipe for earthquakes. But also consider the impact of solar storms and of great arc discharges known as thunderbolts of the gods in the waters below the waters coming forth in the electromagnetic disaster. We know the main discharge from the sky comes downward, and we'd expect the waters then to rise up, even from deep below. It is not only worth understanding why the coronal hole electromagnetism is so well correlated with upticks in seismic activity, but also in how the major versions of that motion would amplify dramatically in the great catastrophe, especially when the solar micronova compresses the magnetic field and the great discharge flashes downward from the sky. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.